Hi guys, I've seen a few requests on the internet about how to make expanding and shrinking views like in the Facebook app. So this is ABG Apps' first tutorial and I'm going to show you how to do just that. So this is what we're going to try and make. When you click the buttons, the other views expand and then shrink back, just like in the Facebook app on the iPhone. I'm not going to show you exactly how it's coded, but the code is available for download in my description of this video. And I'm going to show you how you can make a very simple navigation based application and then implement the growing and shrinking animation. So we're going to start by opening Xcode and we're going to create a new view based application. We could do a navigation based application but we'd automatically get table views and I don't want that. So I'll show you how to turn a view based application into a navigation based application first of all. So I'm just going to call it expanding views. We need to first of all turn this view based application into a navigation based application without all the table views. So we go into the delegate.h and we have to do two things in the delegate. Change where it's whatever you call the main one here, mine's expanding view change it to UI navigation controller and then may as well change this name to navigation controller as well copy and paste the following and put it in the property here you can save that now now go into the app delegate.m instead of synthesizing the view controller which we've now got rid of we have to synthesize the navigation controller we have to add the navigation controller rather than the view controller and we have to release the navigation controller as shown. That's all we need to do for the code. Go into the resources group, double click the main window.xib. You'll see in this box on the left that there's a view controller. That's the yellow circle with the square in the middle. You need to get rid of that and instead we're going to drag on a navigation controller. Once you've hit, uh, dragged that on, double click inside this view here and then you should get presented with this screen on, on the right. If you go into the uh, tab on the left, in the nib name, do whatever you've called your main one, which is mine's expanding views. Then click on the I and in the class do the same thing, expanding views, or whatever your main one's called. Come out of that, click on the delegate here, which is the yellow cube. Then in the top right, click the connections and drag navigation controller onto the navigation controller that we made. There's only one more thing we have to do. Click navigation controller down here. Go to the first tab up here and uncheck shows navigation bar just because I don't need to use it. You can then save and quit by using command S and command Q. And now our application is ready for us to navigate between views. So obviously what we're going to need to do is add another view. So do this, go to classes, right click, add new file, UI view controller subclass. Make sure with XIB for user interfaces ticked and click next. Give it a name. I'm going to call it second view. And now we've done that, let's set up the two views. So open the main view and we'll drag a label on which says first view. Make it bigger. That's our first view. You can close that and save it. Open the second view. We're going to do the same thing but call the label second view. And I shall change the colors so that it's distinguishable. There we go. Now, if you've ever made a navigation based application before, you're going to know the following bits. But we have to set up the view controllers so we can navigate between them. So, in a way, this tutorial is also going to show you how to make a very simple navigation based application. I'm going to make a simple one first, and then we'll implement the growing and shrinking views afterwards. So go into the main view controller.h. My main one's called expanding view, whatever you've called yours. It's the main.h. And we have to do three things. The first is a class 
of the second view. It should come up automatically. And then we have an outlet of second view. Give it a name. Because it's a view controller, I like to call it second VC like that. You can call it whatever you want as long as you're consistent throughout your program. We need a property which is non-atomic and retain. If you don't know what these uh, mean, you can look it up on the internet. And you can just copy and paste this. So we've got three things, a class of second view, an outlet, and a property. Because we've done a property, we need to go into the main.m. And we need to do two things. One is import the second view.h. And the second is synthesize second vc. Now we've done that, we need to go into the main XIV and drag on a view controller. The next bit's going to be very similar to when we did the navigation controller at the beginning. Drag on a view controller, then you get a window on the right. Go to the first tab. In the nib name, we're doing second view. In the I and then the class, we're doing second view. Then click Files Owner, go to the Connections tab and drag second VC onto the second view. You can now save and close that, and basically this will allow the first view to communicate and navigate to the second view. To do that, we're going to need a button. So in fact, we go back into the main .xib, and we're going to drag on a button. So I'm going to put this one. For any button, we need an action. So go to the main .h, and we'll set up an action. Call it whatever you want, as long as you're consistent. If you call it press button, it'll be easier to use my code. So there's press button. Now we go back into the XIB, click file zone, and drag press button onto the button and choose touch up inside. You can save and close that now. Now all we need to do is write the code for that button. So in the dot H, you can copy and paste that. Go into the dot M and change the semicolon for curly brackets. And then we do one line of code to get to second view, which is this. Two open square brackets. Self, navigation, controller, close one pair, push. As soon as you type the P and the U, it should come up. You just press enter. We want to push the one we made, which is second VC. And I'm going to say animated yes. Animated yes will mean it will slide across rather than just appear. Now if we build and run, we should slide across to the second view. Obviously at the moment there's no way to get back. There we go. So to get back, we do a very similar thing in the second view. We don't have to worry about setting up view controllers, you'll see why in a minute. But we just need to copy the action in here and in here. And the reason we don't need to do all the view controllers is because we're not going to push the first view controller because all it will do is keep sliding to the left. We want to go back. And the way you do that is it's called popping. So the same start, self-navigation controller. But instead of doing PU, just type the P and pop comes up. And say yes. And pop basically means come back from where you came. So it will slide back to the left. All we need to do is assign the action now. So make sure you've saved the .h and .m, otherwise they won't come up on the XIB. Then go into the second view, go back to first view. So I just dragged the button onto second view. To assign the button, click file zone and drag pressed button onto it and choose touch up inside. If we save and close it and build and run, then you should see that we can now We've made a very simple navigation-based application. We can go between the views. That's that's it, really. Now, to implement the uh, growing and shrinking is really simple. When you download the code from my description, you'll get one file called Instructions, which basically goes through this video. But if you're just watching it and using the video, then you don't need to worry about this. Just 
I'll show you what you need to take from it. So you need to take those three defines, which it says goes below the imports and above the implementation. This is in the main.m, paste the three import, uh, sorry, the defines. These basically allow you to change the settings of the animation, so how long you want it to take, how big or small you want it to go, and you don't have to edit any of the actual code for the animation, so that's pretty cool. Then copy and paste these two functions anywhere, so I'm just going to do it straight underneath. You don't ever need to change these, so you can highlight it, right click and do fold. If you code fold it, then they just go to one line, and you're never going to need to change it, so that's that's okay. It looks neater, I think. You don't have to do that, but it's better. Then all you need to do is this code from the button. We don't need this. So all I'll just show you what I've done so far. I copied in the defines. I copied in the functions, and I copied in this line for the press button, which was self perform selector at selector animate transition colon with object ns number number with float time for expanding. Make sure you haven't accidentally put shrinking in. We want expanding here. So that was in here in the um, in the document. 